Hey everyone, welcome to another drawing tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how you can keep your lines clean and simple so that your drawings can look more confident and read better. This is the reference photo that I'll be using today. You can download this from the video description below. Let's go through the three habits you should avoid. And the first habit is to draw with broken lines. So when you draw with broken lines like this, um, it feels like the lines, they have no relation to one another and your drawing will look very loose, not in a good way. And the second habit is to avoid uh, drawing too many lines when one line is enough. So here you see I drew two lines for the chin because the first line was drawn wrong and oops, uh, I drew another line because I wanted to correct the second line which also doesn't look that right. So the more lines you draw, it's going to make it busy and sometimes, or actually most of the time, it's going to actually make it worse. So to overcome this problem actually is very simple. Just pay more attention to what you're looking at and before you draw, know where your line is going to end. I find that to be quite helpful. And the third habit to avoid is to uh, stop drawing those hairy lines, like trying like as if you're trying to emphasize the line, like make it thicker. Uh, if you do that, as you can see here, it's not going to look nice. So to instantly improve your drawings, avoid broken lines, avoid hairy lines, and pay more attention to what you are drawing. All right, let's draw the same thing now, this time without the disjointed lines. So I'm going to draw the ear here. Sometimes you do have to draw disjointed lines. It really depends on what you are drawing. So I have the spectacles, the lines. So earlier on, I drew the spectacles with broken lines. This time I want to draw them with lines that join together. The eyebrows. So when you have the lines that join together, you have a clear idea of which, which element is in front, which is behind because of the overlapping lines. And for this part here, the chin where it can be quite challenging. Um, one technique is to know where it's going to end. So it's going to end behind the ear here. So I can draw like this and keep that point in mind and join it. So now we have a simple drawing that reads better because it doesn't have all those unnecessary lines and uh, broken lines like the drawing that I did earlier. So this technique, you can use it for drawing anything buildings, um, people, architecture, basically anything. It doesn't mean that when you draw slow, your lines are going to waver, they are going to jitter. The main thing really is to understand where those lines are going to end. So here I have some broken lines, I will want to join them together but it's best to actually join them when you're drawing rather than going back to join again if not you may accidentally introduce additional um, blotches or uh, lines that you do not want see this part here where the line is thicker I drew these two lines here with four strokes one two three and four when I should have drawn this with just two strokes so when drawing, try not to use so many lines when one line will do. That really helps make your drawings look more simple. And now let me show you some examples from other artists. This book, by the way, it's the Urban Sketching Handbook, Architecture and Cityscapes. So here we have this excavator. Notice there aren't any broken lines. All the lines are joined properly together. The lines may not be perfectly straight, and that's fine as long as they give the illusion that they are straight, that's good enough. 
and notice there are no hairy lines as well all these lines they were drawn with one smooth uh, stroke and notice the house behind all the lines are joined together properly so we know straight away that this part here of the house it's in front of the roof here and see the tracks here now these are broken lines the lines are broken here and here we have this horizontal line that tries to join the parallel lines of the tracks now this works here because these parallel lines they were drawn as a pattern to help you identify the tracks and here you can see broken lines as well but these were drawn as a group to help you see that this is a track and it works notice this stray line here i'm not sure what this is maybe it's for the house that's behind or maybe it's the corner of this excavator uh, i'm not sure but anyway this is a sketch so even if you make mistakes like this it's all right we are not computers or cameras so we are not going to be able to replicate exactly what we see i mean there are people who are able to draw and paint photo realistically but if you're just drawing for fun, you don't have to go into that level of detail or that level of stress. Here's another example, and this sketch looks more sketchy, and I can tell that this sketch was drawn really fast because there are some so-called mistakes. So we can see the lines in the background, they overlap onto the vertical lines of the buildings. If you draw very slow and you still make this kind of mistakes, um, it's a bit weird. But if you draw fast and you make this kind of mistakes, it's not surprising. Here we have some restating lines. And notice again for this sketch, even though it looks very sketchy, all the lines, they are joined properly together. There aren't many broken lines. So even for the lines here, they are joined together. There are small broken lines and those are okay. Okay in the sense that when you look at the sketch from afar, you can still see the structure very clearly. Now this part here, you see more lines that are restated here, drawn over and over the initial lines. Maybe it's because the angles here, they are a bit difficult to draw. Here as well, you can see. And these are the hairy lines. A few bad lines here and there doesn't really matter there's no such thing as a perfect sketch and here we have a very detailed sketch by simon ridyat notice there are no broken lines and if there are they are really very difficult for me to spot and there aren't many restating lines no hairy lines some of the lines are very some of the straight lines are very squiggly but it works here because you can still get the impression that they are straight lines and for the lampposts here you see those bulbs they actually overlap as if they are transparent glass for this sketch you have to use a pen that can produce very thin lines because there are a lot of details to draw if you use a pen that produces medium or broad strokes, you won't be able to draw these details unless you're drawing on a very big piece of paper. And notice those people on the streets. No broken lines as well. Now these people, they were drawn after the horizontal lines were drawn. So you can see how the horizontal lines, how they overlap the people or maybe it's the people that overlaps the horizontal lines. And this still looks good this is a terrific sketch that i think really captures how lively this place is this sketch is by suhita she has some broken lines here and there like for example the windows here sometimes you use broken lines because you don't want to draw attention to certain areas so you see the broken lines here for the people in the background and the broken lines here for this um, bowl for the street performer and the broken lines here for the seat and the legs so sometimes you can actually use broken lines to contrast 
So sometimes you can actually use broken lines to create contrast against lines that are not broken. Here, the broken lines, they were filled in with colors. So go practice and see if these techniques can improve your drawings. By the way, if you want to learn more about drawing and urban sketching, you can check out my online courses at gumroad.com or the full-length tutorials that I have for my patrons at patreon.com. There, you will be able to see all my techniques in practice. Or if you want free tutorials, you can check out the 100 over videos that I have on my YouTube playlist. All the links are in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.